All right, guys, hopefully this is the last video for the day. So the, uh, the supply chain, we all know it's been pretty broken between uh, the whole COVID and then the Suez Canal incident and then shipping containers not moving. And now we're finding out that they just shut down the most productive shipping harbor in China. And then the numbers don't lie. Basically, at any time, there's about 22 ships loaded with freight that can't find a berth on the West Coast. <clears throat> and then when they do find a berth, after about 12 days, it takes them about a week to offload the ship. And then get containers back on the ship and send them back to wherever they're going, most likely China. So today, Sorry about that, truck just passed me. So today, not only is all that going on, but uh, the Chinese government just shut down over 50% of the cargo flights that leave China. What does this mean? It means get your house in order. Get your house in order. That's what it means. Maybe it's time to put more stuff on your shelf. Maybe it's time to make sure you've got some water tucked away. And I know this can all be a little overwhelming, but this is not gonna get better. It's gonna get worse. There's already a massive shortages. There are some Walmarts I'm told that actually have signs out, outside the, lay, uh, the aisles that say what's not there so that people don't even go down the aisles. Or if there's a shortage of a particular product that people are after, they put the signs at the entranceway to the Walmart so people won't come in uh, seeing those signs. You can't buy uh, ibuprofen or acetaminophen in a lot of these different places as well. I was lucky enough, I just got into one of the major Walmarts in the area and their, sh st shocks were, their, stocks were, their shelves were stocked <laughs> but I talked to someone who worked at the pharmacy and they said they had just gotten all of their stores in and that by the end of the day, most of that would be gone. Top your tanks off. Do everything we talk about. It's too late to build a bunker. It's too, too late to think about your plan. It's time to execute. Pay attention. And... Uh, Hopefully things will get better. Now, on a side note, the president's supposed to speak to the nation at 3.45 p.m. Eastern. I think the address initially was scheduled to be on the Afghanistan situation. They're calling that the, they're calling that his Saigon moment. If you don't know about that, you might want to look up the fall of Saigon. Um, but as usual, they'll turn it into something else. They'll just say it's for one thing, but it'll be about COVID and masks and build back better. It'll all be about that instead of what they really are supposed to be talking about. So I'd pay attention to that, see what he's going to say. Hopefully he doesn't do anything monumentally stupid. All right. Hopefully this is my last video for the day. As usual, stay safe and have a great day. Boop.